the head of the International Hockey Federation, Narendra Batra, is the new president of the Indian Olympic Association. He won the election for president against former IOA treasurer Anil Khanna, but the election was a mere formality. With Khanna having announced his decision to back Patra after the last state of the withdrawal, Rajiv Mehta, the present secretary general, was elected to the post unopposed for a second term. While Uttar Pradesh's Anandeshwar Patel was Pandey was elected treasurer. It marks a new beginning for the IOA, which has been in free fall ever since it was suspended by the International Olympic Committee in 2012 and then reinstated in 2014. The body has been reduced to a ceremonial role and Batra has his task cut out. However, the results of the election will have to pass the scrutiny of the courts. A man who's drawn a lot of hats. His latest hat is the one of becoming the president of the Indian Olympic Association. With us is Narendra Batra. First of all, congratulations on the huge win. What is going to be your first step forward becoming the president of the IOA? I think everything is in order. I just have to put the thing in the right perspective and move so that uh, whatever we are planning to do in future, it's done on time. We achieve all our time schedules and results and everything. You know, you've been credited by, with, with a lot of things. Now you've, you've moved on from cricket to hockey and now to the IOA. How are we going to manage your time in between hockey and the IOA? I have nothing to do with cricket now. Yes, I am part of international hockey. I am the president there and IOA also. So if I have taken a responsibility, I know I have to make time and I have fixed my time schedules, everything. I am a very early liser and a very late sleeper, so don't worry. I will be giving sufficient time to IOA also because we are certainly looking for, I would say, some uh, improvement in facilities, benefits for athletes. So, and the athletes also feel that being a sportsman or a sports person is respectable and a financially viable situation also. And India also increases the medal hopes. Talking about medal hopes, taking a cue from there, a lot of athletes have been saying that we need to host international events. They had dried up in the last few years, but now since you've taken it up, what is your way forward in that? The Asian events or the smaller events will certainly be happening. Uh, but I'm certainly aiming at uh, Commonwealth Games 26, 30 Asian Games and 32 Olympics. That's my aim. How much we can achieve in that requires to be seen because that requires a lot of government support also. So that's the aim to do it. International events do have to happen so the public also gets involved. They only get dose of cricket and a little bit of hockey and kabaddi nowadays but the other sports also have to come in. You know, it's it's not been a tradition for the IOA to host a press conference like this, especially in, in, which includes president and stuff. But now you are here. How long is the journey going to continue forward? And how, how long, long is do you want it? Every day, every week, every fortnight. <laughs> you tell me. Thanks so much for speaking to us, and all the very best. Thank you.